Hi there, it's Pavel from Chart. In this video, we will talk about styles. So styles as a second, in my uh, opinion, the second uh, main part of the chart. So you can use any data from manual sources or uh, CSV or Google Sheet or API, but uh, the not only data makes chart variable, also styles. So the mission of chart to create, to help you to create charts automatically. So for that, you need to have your styles, your brand book, etc. Uh, so that it will help you to create uh, as much uh, customized chart as possible. So let's see uh, which options are available uh, for you. So we can go to create. And if you want to create chart uh, with your own styles, uh, you need to go to settings. So in settings, you will have two different UIs. So by default, if you don't have any templates, you will have only option without template. So what it does, what does it mean? Without template, it's that uh, you don't have any templates and every time you create uh, your chart. If you not go to settings, you will have default settings that are uh, placed to uh, chart by default. So if you want to customize your chart every time, the without template options is the best. So every time you create chart, you go to settings and select what you want. So colors, settings, labels, and grid. If you want to set up your styles once and use it forever, check the next video about templates. In this video, I will specifically cover all settings that we have here, so what you can do. Okay, let's start from the basic one, it's colors. By default, you have a long list of uh, colors that are default, so it's the uh, most common colors from uh, most used uh, data visualization palettes. Make sure that you are good with it. If you if not, you just could delete each of uh, this color, change it, rearrange it, do what you want. And on the right side, by default, you could you could have your document colors if you if you have ones. So for sketch and for Figma and for Adobe, uh, you have options uh, to set your document colors uh, in the tool. And here you will see your document colors if you have one. Okay, and here uh, you can have option to add a new color to this palette. So let's start uh, with deleting few of these colors that I don't think are really good. Okay, so let, let's rearrange some of them. You can use drag and drop here. Okay, uh, let's add this color from my uh, document and add new few uh, new colors from here. So by default, colors are added to the end of this list and by default, it's a black. So to check the color, just click its uh, preview and in easy UI just change it. Okay, choose and here I want this color. Okay, so I'm good with colors. Let's leave it as is and go to the next option setting. So here you can see uh, which uh, chart type you are uh, customizing. So, if you will uh, change your chart type later, uh, you your settings uh, will be uh, check will be switched to default. So the process is following: you go to create chart, you select your chart type that you want to uh, create, you paste your data, and then go to settings. In settings, uh, you just uh, um, setting up and uh, create chart. So in settings for line chart, you could have uh, basic ones. So for 
different chart types, you will have different settings. So for chart type, uh, line chart, you could have a uh, type of line by default curved, straight and spline. So spline means uh, the, the most uh, accurate, uh, um, most accurate uh, smoothness of lines based on, uh, based on the values. So you could have, have dots or without dots, uh, you could change the diameter of dot thickness of line and starting uh, x, y axis from zero. So for example, if your data starting not from zero, you could have no and the basic line here will, will start from not from zero, but from your actual data. Okay, uh, about labels. So you could see all settings about labels here. So from type like X and Y, only Y or only X, line height, font name, font style. So about font name and font style in this version, it's uh, just an input. So you need to make sure that uh, uh, the name of font is exactly the name that you have in your system and for font style too. So it could be regular, bold or italic, for example. So letter spacing text case that are compatible with uh, Sketch, Figma and Adobe font size and color uh, could be customized the same way as colors in, col in palette settings. Okay, and the last one is grid. So you could have different types of grid, thickness of grid line and color. Okay, so I am good with colors, so I will do it in this way. I'm good with labels and grid and if I click save I want a few more lines to show you and I create it. So we can check that uh, we don't have dots, we have our colors and uh, all settings from labels and grid are here. So in this video I have showed you how to manually create your styles every one every time you create your chart but for the most of the cases you want to have uh, your styles uh, uh, consistent and constant and you want to uh, save it once and use it forever so especially for this case uh, we have templates so uh, for templates uh, I will show you how to work with it in the uh, different video. So thank you very much and uh, go and see template video about templates.